What's up, everybody? Welcome to a Let's Play for Marvel Heroes 2015. I'm Greg Miller, alongside David Brevik, CEO, Gazillion, the Hello. man who made this whole game. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm excellent. Thank you so much for coming by. Of course, David, you were just on Up at Noon yesterday. You came in talking about Marvel Heroes 2015, telling me how it's so much better than the original Marvel Heroes. Now you're going to show me why. Yeah, all you're right. Show me some of the characters. You, you added Sounds these good. Guardians of the Galaxy. We did. We just uh, added some of the Guardians of the Galaxy. We, I mean, Rocket Raccoon has been in there from the since, since launch. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Uh, but we just added Star Lord, and then we added team ups of Gamora and Drax. Mm -hmm. uh, and so here, here's somebody playing Star Lord right over there. That's one of the uh, go team up with him. Tell me you're in a movie with him. <laughs> Tell him he's famous uh, and I So uh, maybe we'll go. We we have a lot of characters now. This is my my personal account, but the. Uh, you know, there's 30-something characters to choose from at this mm -hmm. point, and you can earn them all by just by playing the game. So you don't, you know, it is free to play. You can, you can, uh, you never have to pay a d dime. Right. You You're talking about this up characters. at noon, right? That in the yeah. beginning you had to unlock, find the characters as you went. Now you can actually earn in-game currency earn, and buy the ones you yeah, want. Exactly. So you can buy them with real money, too. You can, yeah, but you can if you don't if you don't want to pay money, you know. Sure, 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 sure. So uh, there's a bunch of different modes in the game. You can play through the storyline, which a lot of people do the first time that they play the game. Uh, but there are other ways that you can, other things you do, other activities. And uh, so I think I'm going to go right now into one of my favorite activities to do, which is called uh, the Ma Midtown Manhattan, and we'll uh, the Midtown, Midtown Manhattan Patrol right here. And uh, we'll go in here, and I'll show off a little bit of Rocket. Rocket is one of my favorite characters. This, he's uh, 60 on this count, and he's one of the one that I play the most. Now, and, what you're uh, talking about, I thought was interesting, right? Is that he's been around from Groot. the get-go. There's Groot. That's all yes. he says. Uh, but you just tweaked him, right? Like in terms we did. of the game. We did. We just tweaked him. Uh, we added a whole bunch of stuff to him, and we uh, one of the processes that we did is when we, we came out, the characters only had skills to level 30. And so we've gone back, and the level cap is 60, so we've gone back and we've filled them out with, character, with skills up to level 52, which changes a lot. They added a whole bunch of new features. We revamped them, and we've done this with probably half of the characters oh, wow. or two-thirds of the characters that we started out with uh, last year. All new characters that we come out with already have the, uh, the skills up to 52. Sure, sure. Uh, but the old ones don't. So this Midtown is just like something's going on all the time. You can wander around. Uh, events happen. Like uh, here. Jeez, uh, that's a Sentinel. Sentinel will come in or whatever, and you got to, you got to, oh, he just froze me. And you got to fight him. There's, there'll be other people in town kind of doing their thing. Uh, Rocket digging, then then oh here's a bunch of robots and whatnot. There'll be other people and they'll just kind of team up with you and oh, there was Beta Ray Bill. Did you see Beta Ray Bill coming in? I saw there, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's my current team up that I have right now with me. Uh, so there, as you can see on the ground, you see that Eternity Splinter that uh -huh. that fell there on the ground. Now that that is the this is the uh, this is the free to play currency that you can get oh, to, to cool. buy okay. buy heroes. So you have to collect. Uh, well, you can get a random one for about 175 splinters, and uh, and you, you know the the other hero started about 200 splinters. Gotcha. And uh, so we just revamped him. He got a whole bunch of new things, but one of the coolest things that he got was that his ultimate power has been updated, and uh, I'll show that off. He uh, he gets a, a mech. Oh, here's somebody playing as Phoenix. You can see, and uh, somebody else oh, playing Miss Marvel right yeah, there, yeah. and. Uh, so they're, they're, those are just people kind of wandering around. Oh, there is a new event that just occurred. That's a super villain alert. Uh, some of the bosses have spawned, so we'll run over there. And in fact, then I will show off. We'll get over to the bosses, and we're going to fly over there. And uh, When you talk about the splinters and you know adding that in, was that from, you, you know, you talked on Up at Noon about listening to your community. Is that something they wanted that they were talking about? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, we had several stories about what was happening there. It was things like uh, there's Doctor Strange. Uh, Electra is way. People out were getting there. basically two. There were two or three different scenarios of happening. Yeah. Either you're the luckiest person in the universe. <laughs> you played 50 hours and you got six drops, and it was yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I love this game or whatever. But even then, you may not be satisfied because the six drops weren't necessarily the person that you wanted. Right. It's yeah, like, oh, wanted. that was kind of. I'm happy that I got six drops, but come on, where's the where's Spider-Man? That's yeah, really yeah, yeah. what I want to play. And, or you were the unlucky guy who played 200 hours and didn't get a single one. So the uh, 
So it wasn't really fair, and this we felt this was a much better system. Sure. And, uh, and so we're really happy with it, and we had a lot of positive response to it. All right, so like I said, he just got revamped, and one of his coolest skills here, we'll bring it in right now, is his new mech. There we go, yeah. and he's coming in, and he's... I'm just going to light up the boss here with my... My dash, I've got a jump, and I've got my rockets. Because you're a raccoon. Yeah, well, exactly. So there we go. This was actually from the comics. He uh, went to go fight Thanos, and he had this mech that he helped that helped, that he helped fight while nice. he was in the mech. So, whatever. so good fun. That's something that lasts just for a little while, and then you, then, you, know, you get a cooldown on that skill. You can come back and use it again later in the future. So how, is it hard to get work done on the game, like the actual game mechanics, because you you also then have to go read the comics and figure out what cool thing you want to pull in from them? Oh, well, there's one time, Raccoon th fought Thanos, and he had this cool <laughs> mech. we got to figure that out. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, it is a little bit difficult, but uh, <laughs> it is not, but it's fun. So <laughs> I just got an invitation to join a party, which I'll join, and we'll see if... Uh, See what happens here. Are these kids uh, freaking out because they know you think? Uh, maybe. They, I don't know if they're freaking out, but they, they, they may know be. me. They I'm freaking <laughs> out to have you in the room, let alone be playing on your team. <laughs> so, now, you were talking earlier, too. You stream a lot, right? People I do, I do. Uh, yeah. If you follow me on Twitter at David Brevik, uh, then you will, uh, you'll see that I've, I stream a lot. I stream probably three or four nights a week, and I invite people into the party and, uh, and answer questions and et cetera, et cetera. I play with my wife, uh, and we That's use awesome. her her Twitch account to, uh, and it's the two of us. She's the play-by-play. -play, I'm the color. Nice, nice. And uh, and it works out really well. That's really cool. It's a lot of fun. It's heartwarming, actually. <laughs> you and your wife. <laughs> it is. It's fun. It, well, you know, one of the reasons I married her is because she's a huge gamer. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see, Rocket is is pretty fun. Lots of stuff that you can do. There's, uh, I've got Groot. You know, he he kind of tanks. I stand back. I now shoot. I've your, got a bunch he's your of partner. You're saying right? He's yeah, exactly. Duos. And I've got a bunch of different weapons I can shoot. Here's one of my my new little minigun things that I can. It's got high DPS, high rate of fire. That's a lot of fun. We've got this BFG. This has been in the game for a while, but it's just kind of a hose of death, which is. You know, I, I really appreciate. But as you can see, this Midtown is a, a mode that never stops. It's constantly right, right. going. There's little events going on all the time. There's people kind of doing their own thing. Is this a great place out. to come and level grind? It is. It is a good place to do a whole bunch of stuff. There's also one of the features that we have is that at, when you're here, you can do something called, if you're above level 20, you uh -huh. can do legendary quests. And the legendary quests will send you all over the game and do stuff, and you'll use these things. They'll earn Odin marks, which allow you to buy special equipment. But there'll be lots of legendary quests to do here in Midtown, so you can kind of double up the amount of... You get big experience bonus gotcha. bonuses for finishing those. We also have the shared daily quests. These are shared amongst everybody on the server every day. There are different, uh, different events you can do. One that's based on terminals, one that's in Midtown, and one that can be in either Holosim or X-Defense, which is another cool, endgame mode. Cool. So you can work together to complete those in a group. Nice. Uh, so we have not just a rocket, but we also have other characters as well. Uh, I, we can head back to town here. I can yeah. uh, get to safety. Load up. Show me. Yeah, Don't die. Exactly. Don't no, risk well, too much here. There's. It's always a risk in this game. There's. Uh, <laughs> there's something going on all the time. There goes Squirrel Girl. We just improved Squirrel Girl a little bit. She had uh, turned out that every she can release hundreds of squirrels, and it turned out that <laughs> there we could see Invisible Woman go by. Yeah. And uh, uh, and there's Silver Surfer. The uh, she had each one of those squirrels was a fully lit, fully skeleton, fully everything kind of you know gotcha. full Maybe a character. Bit too much for the, the a squirrel. little bit too much <laughs> for the squirrel that's on the second you know, on the screen for about a half a second. Right. And uh, and oh, wow, we were getting surprised comments that people's computers were slowing down when they're playing <laughs> Squirrel Girl. So I uh, couldn't imagine why. So anyway, that's been fixed in the latest patch, which is which is helpful. So. Like I said, we have a whole bunch of new characters. We just put in the Guardians. Uh, we'll, here's, uh, we've got Star-Lord. Uh, I, I actually have him. Uh, oh, i got to leave the party here. Forgot that I was in one. You just ruined these people's lives. They were so excited. <laughs> you broke their hearts. And uh, here comes, comes Star-Lord in his movie costume. He's looking good nice, there. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. And he's a lot of fun to play. He's got a great dash, one of the best dashes in the game. 
It's a lot of fun. And uh, and then we have you know all of your regular favorites that you would like. Uh, we even have some quote unquote bad guys with mm-hmm. Loki, and we also have Taskmaster in the game. Oh, cool! Uh, somebody that you can play with. Uh, and uh, one of the characters we showed off there, Mister Fantastic, is also uh, one of the characters we showed off. His trailer videos. debuted on up and no big deal, yes. everybody. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about <laughs> it. You can go find it. Go dot com slash so. up eps eps. Like I said, it's free to play. There's yep. lots to it. There's uh, you know story modes, end game modes. We just put in raids. Uh, there's PvP. There's just about anything that you want to do in the game. Oh, so. well, great. Ladies and gentlemen, Marvel Heroes 2015 is out right now. You can, you can just click off this video and go download it and then be playing it. It's you can. Simple. You can do it, it right now. You can War. either play at, on PC or Mac. Yeah, not consoles yet, though. You're thinking about it. One day. I'm selling it hard. I All was right. pushing it hard on Up at Noon. I'm not going to stop now. <laughs> I think you should look into these consoles. I, you know, I, I heard they're going to be something. And the Vita. <laughs> <laughs> look into that. That's going to be something. Ladies and gentlemen, for everything about Marvel Heroes 2015 and every cool superhero game, keep it here on IGN.